tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello friends, when you have a polygon object like this one, you can just pick, well for example a face, this one, that one, another one, probably ones at the, some at the back as well, and just delete them. And then you have holes here. This is not possible in the NURBS world. When I select faces up here, and delete them, I open the whole sphere, which is quite an elegant method to work. And this is not possible with NURBS, but it is in a certain way, and in a certain elegant way, and that's what I'm going to show you. So let's create a NURBS sphere now. Go to Curves and Surfaces, and here is a NURBS sphere. When you're under Modeling, you see the Surfaces menu here. These are the NURBS curves, these are the NURBS surfaces. Only these two here are relevant for what we're talking about, the NURBS world. And under surfaces you find attach, and I did a tutorial about quite cool attachments of NURBS surfaces, and here is detach. When you look at the very bottom left of the screen you see select isopalms, or isopalms, whatever you want to call them, they're just sitting on that surface. So um, we select isopalms, right mouse click isopalm, and a nice thing here is that you might think these are the isopalms, yes they are, but they're infinitely more. So you can move this over here, when you go to this one you can just move it over here as well. Now um, let us cut just the top, let's cut the top off. We've selected that isopalm here and we go to surfaces and detach. And now in the outliner, if you don't see it, click here. This makes the outliner visible. That's our, it's, it's the box where we actually see everything which is in the scene, even without looking at it. Uh, we have this NURBS sphere and we have a detached NURBS surface. So that's up here, that point. So and we actually made two out of one. Uh, if we continue with this, is a palm again, and for example, this one, now move it to the side, you see that it is not following the rest of the topology. It's only on this side. That's typical for a NURBS surface. Uh, the ones around here, they're actually going all around, they're a loop. Uh, loops actually, but uh, this one isn't. So when you cr try to make uh, a detachment here, it will fail. Surfaces, detach. Nothing happens here in the outliner. All you see is that there's a line happening here which doesn't do anything. But I can show you how you can do it. You just need to help that NURB surface to stay intact in both pieces which you'll cut which will separate now. So this is the first line we use and how about with a shift key that one. Now we've selected two and when we go to surfaces now and detach we actually do have a detachment and uh, the selection of objects we have now is this one, the top one and the back one. That's the one we just detached. Let's make another detachment with two isopalms. Selected this one, or actually we can use three, and maybe this one. And why not? Let's choose this one as well. So we've selected four isopalms, and we go to surfaces and detach. And now we've got lots of more surfaces right here. And one is this one, th that one, that one. Now of course it works because we cut the first piece away, the front away. Now we can use the detailed detachments. All of them are intact working NURBS surfaces. So we've just cut the sphere into seven pieces. 
you can use the option box here for surfaces detach the only option is keep original so if we had checked this on keep original we would have saved the original sphere finally I want to show you something which um, has to do with animation since we've cut it so nicely we'll do an animation with it we're under modeling and we want a special effect now that's why we go to the other module here which is effects in this case special effects under special effects we have the, f uh, the force fields the fields and solvers and we'll just use a simple field which makes these things uh, disappear in space we select all of them or if you want some of them to stay where they are you can just well deselect the top one or actually let's select all of them and just deselect this one and we go to fields and solvers and up here you have interesting fields and one which shoots the things uh, uh, away from the center is the radial force and um, if you have a look here the magnitude is 5 let's set it to 1 5 would make the simulation very fast and let's run the simulation and then you see that uh, the objects spread in space but this one stays where it is now if you want to render it we need a light and the simplest most simple light is the skydome light you can already see the rendering now and if you want to see the motion of these objects properly uh, you would probably want to add a motion blur and I'll show you how to do that and then we're done with detaching NURBS elements I go to this icon which opens the render settings and here I can give the animation a name but I don't want to do this I just want to go to the Arnold renderer or if you have a V-Ray it's probably quite similar and down here you have the motion blur and you enable the motion blur with lots of settings possible but the default settings are just working in most cases and when you render it now you see some blurring here it depends of course on how fast the shards move so at the very beginning for example let's have a closer look now and you see this one is really going fast this one middle fast and these ones here uh, pr are quite slowly because this is a this is a larger piece really and this one stays where it is it will never have a motion blur unless you actually animate the camera then of course the motion blur is all over the place final thought maybe you see these edges here you want to get rid of them well so select the object which looks totally round here in the viewport but not in the rendering then in the attribute editor you see the detached surface shape number 11 in my case it's certainly another number in your case and here you find a section which is called tessellation open it and you have simple tessellation options and enable advanced tessellation why not go to the advanced tessellations here primary tessellation attribute secondary etc so let's just raise these numbers here in u and v so we have a more round rendering which you see at work now it's more round now than it was before I render this now as, as an animation and I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.